Hello, bonjour. Onion, how say yo? Ni hao. Bonjour, no. Namaste. Konnichiwa. La 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 la. I, I just want to uh, say that I have enjoyed being with you over these last months. And I thank every one of you who have uh, participated in these Zoom worship uh, sessions. It has not always been easy to do this, and I know that. And so that's all the more reason to appreciate that you have hung in there. God bless you. Uh, I will be as glad as you to see Randy back uh, two weeks uh, from today. And uh, he will be starting again the 1st of January. So God bless him and keep him in your prayers. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, everyone, for uh, the different Christmas cards. And for yesterday, it was very nice. I got out of the car with Cass. <laughs> we didn't fall. But it was nice talking with everybody for a little bit. And I hope you had a good turnout because we got too cold too. We didn't stay all that long. Um, and please, everyone, just stay healthy and uh, enjoy enjoy the holiday. All right. Take care now. Bye bye. Yes, just uh, wishing uh, a happy, blessed holiday uh, to everyone and a healthy new year. And we double that. Uh, we just wanted to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas and a, a happy and a healthy new year. And we will hopefully see everyone soon. Bye for now. Where's the rest of you? You did a wonderful job. There we go. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. 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 Merry you did a beautiful job. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Happy to see everyone again. I have to say it was such a delight to see all the children yesterday. Um, I misses everyone. And it was such, such a good little event just to be out for a little while, even if it was cold. Happy to see Pastor Randy and see that you're doing well. And Congratulations to your daughter on her graduation. And Pastor Bob, thanks again for such a wonderful service. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to everyone. And please, please, please continue to stay safe and please maintain those precautions. Hi, everyone. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a safe, healthy, happy new year. I miss you all. Good morning or good afternoon. Um, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I'm sorry, I couldn't exactly get to the drive-by. Uh, my car is sort of shoveled in, and I can't get it out right now. So I, I guess I'll have to wait till the spring to, to let the, the snow melt. But I do have something, a question. What is the best way to burn a thousand calories? Anybody know? Mm. Just leave the pizza in the oven. <laughs> See everybody Thursday. I mean, is yeah. it Wednesday, right? Thursday. Hello. We'd like to say Merry Christmas to everyone and uh, wishing we could see one another, but uh, this will uh, be. Uh, Second best to really enjoy the Christmas Eve service. Uh, we hope to do that. And um, just um, wish everyone a, um, a safe and uh, uh, have a healthy new year. And everyone try to stay away from that virus. I wish uh, everybody a Merry Christmas. I hope a safe Christmas and a new year. And I wanna thank everybody for prayers for me and it'll get better eventually. So thank you very much. Can you hear me? Yes. Merry Christmas, everyone. Um, just came off two weeks of severe flu or whatever it was. So I feel a lot better. Um, and nice to see you looking a lot better, Randy. 
So everyone, Merry Christmas. Um, I've been under the weather for two weeks, so don't expect any cards. Sorry. Have a good one. <laughs> right. Hello, everybody. I'd like to thank everybody who participated in the service today, uh, especially the family that um, was involved with the advent. And um, like to, uh, as Pastor Bob, you know, filling in, we 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 certainly appreciate you you leading us all these uh, weeks. And uh, uh, one thing you said in particular, uh, I guess, before the service, I, I hope that many people uh, for Christmas uh, be a little more safe than they were uh, at Thanksgiving time. It's very important. And I, I hope people uh, follow that. And uh, I look forward to the Christmas Eve services, seeing everybody then. And uh, I do have one joke. Uh, what goes O, O, O? Santa walking backwards. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Good Merry one. Christmas, Fred. Merry Christmas. That's a tough act to follow, Sophie. <laughs> it sure is, and I don't know how to begin, other with the simple fact that, Pastor Bob, we have enjoyed you over the months, and I know I'm going to miss you. Uh, looking up to my elders, it's, it's such a joy and a, and a blessing. And Pastor Randy, I look forward to your, you coming back as full and, and geared up and ready to take on 2021. And I want you to know I'm here in any way or manner that I can be of assistance to you. And on the closing of the note of today about love, a four simple letter word that we sometimes make it astronomical and in its meaning. And I just pray that everyone take this word of love into the new year with a new meaning, because I know I'm definitely it, will be doing that myself. And I just love you. I see you all on Thursday. My family's in the background. They send their love as well. And everyone just have a Merry Christmas that's coming soon. Okay. This is the Macaulay family, Marina okay. and Collingwood. Good morning, everyone. Once more, I'm we are glad to be in service with our church family. Nice seeing everybody, especially Pastor. I can see the mustache and the hair. That's wonderful. Thank you again, Pastor Bob, for conducting the service for us for this past week, uh, past uh, a nice. couple of months. And we have this very special day today. Um, today is our sixth our wedding anniversary, uh, me and my wonderful wife here, we just want to thank God and um, the church for the support over the past years. And thank you, everybody. And I have one for Pastor. Um, what is common with uh, a man highly dressed, riding a bicycle, and one that is scarcely dressed? What? what? A tire. <laughs> A tire. <laughs> oh, Marina, now that's a tough one to follow. Do you have anything to share? I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. And I pray that we all go through the New Year in good health. In Jesus' name. And I love you all. Happy anniversary, guys. And happy anniversary, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. May, yeah, Merry Christmas to everybody and Happy New Year. Okay, there's the Kane girls. Hey girls, hello. Hi. I just wanna wish everyone a Merry Christmas and to keep safe and healthy and keep the magic of Christmas, even in these interesting times. There's so much to be thankful for, um, even with us uh, kind of not being able to be with family. We still have, oh, I was photobombed, I think. <laughs> we still have so many reasons to be blessed and thankful. So Merry Christmas, everyone, and stay happy and healthy through the holiday. Jen, was Megan our baby at the beginning of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel? She came in late today, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe it was either that or my son. They've been, they've been babies in mangers before. 
It was the picture with Wendy as jo it was uh, Joseph. It was Brayden. That was Brayden. That's my Are middle one. Serious? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he was born in August, so he was the perfect age to be in that manger. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, Megan was a little young. Her birthday's in November, so she was only a peanut at um, Christmas, but she was there. <laughs> I'm sure she was. Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Yes, I'd like to wish everyone a very happy holiday. And I'm sorry that I couldn't be there yesterday, but I'm hoping to be there on Thursday on Zoom with you all. And want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Be safe, wear your mask, wash your hand, and keep your distance. Pastor, it's nice seeing you, and you have a Merry Christmas, and your wife, and everybody. Enjoy your day. Thank you. You have some. Um... I'm seeing, okay. Um, Merry Christmas to everybody. I got in late uh, to, and just caught the sermon. So I didn't see any of the photos and I love looking at those. Um, that was one uh, of Braden that I submitted. Uh, and I, yeah, I know they had Wendy as Joseph because she was a little more responsible adult. So he was in safe hands. Um, Merry Christmas. I was just thinking back on the Zoom services and Bob's been doing such a great job as Pastor R Pastor Bob, as Pastor Randy went through all that he went through. So now we're excited to have our Pastor Randy back and sorry to see Pastor Bob going, but um, it's been it's been wonderful. So Thank you to both of you and to the girls, Sue and Pat, who have been doing so much to keep us in tune. Merry Christmas to you all. And I hope everybody does stay safe in the 2020 year coming up. Um, we are doing a very low key Christmas. My family, why I was late, we just had a pull up. We exchanged gifts to cars, not to people. And so, Christmas Day, we will have a Zoom, as chaotic as it'll probably be, everybody, I'll get to see my family open their gifts. So that that's exciting. It's different, but we're able to do it. So I'm thankful for that. Um, thank you for my church family. I appreciate all that. The cards, uh, well wishes, just everything that people are trying to keep a normal life. So Merry Christmas. I'll see you Christmas Eve. Uh, excited to see what's going to happen. So um, I, I think that's it. Thank you. Merry Christmas to all of you. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Merry Janet. Merry Christmas, Janet. Thank Coco, you. Coco, are you there? I'm here. Okay. I'm eventually going to have the webcam up. But uh, anyway, um, it's been a very weird year. And hopefully 2021 will be much better for us. Pastor Bob, we will miss you. But just because you're not pastoring with us doesn't mean you can't still join us. Um, that would be lovely to have you still with us in some way. And Barbara as well. I'm glad to have another crocheter around. And um, Pastor Randy, we're so glad that you'll be back full time again. And, you know, and everything. Sue, Pat, you guys have... I, you know what you guys have done it, it's insane how much work you guys do and um you know i just really miss my church family i miss being able to see everybody but i'm glad we at least have technology to do this um 20 years ago forget it we wouldn't have been able to do this we would have been pulling our hair out even more but you know we we managed to adjust somehow i guess that's our strength and um, I will hopefully see everybody on Thursday. And I'm actually going to try to make cookies if that, yeah, I'm gonna try to make some cookies. I won't, I won't poison anybody, <laughs> I promise. <laughs> they, they will be good, I hope. Anyway, everybody have a great day, great week, and I'll talk to you all later. All right, I just wanna thank everybody for all their hard work and effort. Another beautiful service down, guys. We're just getting so good at this. It's really crazy, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know that we should get good at this. But uh, Sue, I couldn't do it without you, honey. And I know the pastors 
feel the same way. You've been the driving force. So, oh, and also the reason I was late coming in because I was eating vegetable soup and it was <laughs> delicious. It really hit the spot. If you could see my video, I'm, I'm covered in a blanket now. So, <laughs> okay, I'm really, Sue. I'm so glad you enjoyed the soup. Most people do. Yes, it was delicious. Okay, there you go. Hi, everyone. I'm looking forward to this upcoming week, just um, celebrating Christmas. I think we all need some celebration in our lives right now. Um, what Janet said about exchanging gifts and then doing it on Zoom really has given me food for thought because um, I want to stay safe, but I want to be with my family. And I'm sure I'm not the only person that um, feels that way. So anyway, I'm looking forward to Christmas Eve. And in the meantime, I do have a joke for you. What do snowmen eat for breakfast? Ice Krispies. <laughs> see y'all thursday okay. all right okay well if i'm frozen i guess i might as well say something and then i don't know if you know this but everybody talking about cookies harvard just baked the batch and uh i've been waiting to turn myself off so i can eat it <laughs> and so i'm looking forward to doing this eat it in front of us right no, 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 no. Too tempting. <laughs> okay. Thursday, Bob. Oh, Wednesday. See you Wednesday. I was going to say, don't forget Bible study Wednesday. Right. And looking forward to Thursday. God bless. Okay. Sounds good. And Pastor Randy. We, we have a quart of vegetable soup in our refrigerator that will be heated in a few hours and will be enjoyed, I'm sure. Uh, that's one of my favorite soups. So thank you, Sue, for that gift. It's just nice to be with you all again and to feel well enough to do that. It's, it's, it's a wonderful thing. And I'm just very grateful for that. I do look forward to our time on Thursday and the, the service that we have um, hopefully will be special in its own way. It won't be what we would want, but it will hopefully be special in its own way as we continue to gather for worship in this different way. Um, I look forward to hearing Pastor Bob next Sunday um, and to also realize and, and transition and uh, just will always appreciate Pastor Bob, what you have meant to the congregations and to me uh, through these many months. I wish you well. I hope it stays dry for us all, maybe warms up a little and melts some of this snow, but I hope we have a good week. And again, look forward to gathering for service on Christmas Eve, Thursday night. God bless you all. Okay. Peace. Amen. May I say one more thing? Uh-oh. Well, I'm sorry. Did you eat that cookie yet? Yes, he did. I'm almost done. <laughs> On, on Thursday, uh, we will be ending with the final candle lighting service as we uh, sing o, uh, o Silent Night. And my thought is that we're going to be doing this at home. And in some cases, having that fire is not really going to be all that safe. So I'd like to remind the people that if you would like to have another light, and that's the whole purpose of the candle is showing the light of God through Jesus Christ. So if you have any kind of light, some of them would be candles with the uh, battery operated lights. But one of the things that I realized uh, actually just yesterday, because uh, one of the men that I have our regular Saturday morning breakfast with said that that's what uh, he's planning on doing. And that is using his flashlight. Uh, the flashlight part oh. of his iPhone. And so we don't really need to have the flame if that's not going to be safe. Uh, we can have light in so many ways. And mm -hmm. so just a reminder that whatever light works for you, uh, be ready on Christmas Eve. Thank you. Yes. All right. Enjoy the rest of your week, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Yeah, that's all, folks.